Chronicle writer Max Landis did an interview recently discussing the status of Chronicle 2 and addressed earlier reports that suggested Fox Studios didn't like his first draft of the script. Landis responded to that report by saying the following, The report came out that they didn't like my script. They liked my script. It's just a really dark script. The question is more of how do we all compromise to get something we want? And that's an incredibly slow process. John, buy or sell a dark Chronicle 2. Well, when you look at the first Chronicle movie, which was one of the most pleasant, biggest surprises to me, because I, I was, like most of you, I was sick and tired of the found footage movies. I wasn't really all that keen on it, but Chronicle was a brilliantly done film. I love that movie. And really, when you step back and look at it and see how it develops and, and how the villain becomes the villain... Every, it is a dark story already. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a really, Chronicle is a dark story. And moving forward, the fact that Landis wants to do, keep going that direction is great. Now look, a lot of people have a problem. I think a lot of people just don't get it. They live in some romance wonderland <laughs> somewhere that, oh, <laughs> studios shouldn't interfere with the artist. The artist should just be left alone to do whatever they want to do. And the studio shouldn't be interfering with Landis's script development. Look, that's all. That's a nice romantic idea. But here's the problem. Artists make – good artists – make art from within themselves. They, they make the things that, that are an expression of what they're thinking and feeling and seeing and, and what they do. But a studio has to be concerned with more than that. They also have to be concerned with what do audiences want to see and what will work for an audience. That's not the way an artist thinks. That's not our base mm -hmm. thought is what will the audience buy is what do I want to express? Mm -hmm. And that's needed and required. But I've always maintained that you need both sides to create great films. The reason I believe George Lucas went off the deep end and made horrible Star Wars prequels is because he no longer had anybody to answer to. Nobody could say no to George Lucas and nobody could give him any input. It was just him and his thoughts. And what happened then was you had this creative, amazing Hollywood giant of a genius suddenly turn out crap movies. Why? Because he had nobody to answer to and nobody to be a check and a balance. I already said, I think Christopher Nolan's worst film, even though I still liked it a lot, but I believe his worst film is Dark Knight Rises. Mm -hmm. It's his worst movie. And why? Because his power has gotten so big in Hollywood, there are fewer and fewer people who can say no to Christopher Nolan. And I, I believe that's why that happened. So, I mean, I like the idea that you take the creative genius and then you balance that out by people who have to bring checks and balances to it. I believe that makes for the best movies. Look, Peter Jackson always talks about the great collaboration that he had with the studio in making the Lord of the Rings films. That's why they turned out so great, because you had his genius checked and balanced with the studio know-how, and they made great cinema. And I believe that's the way it's going to work, and I believe it will work for Chronicle 2. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.